I'm Richard Quest of CNN's Quest Means Business and Business Traveller. The world of retailing has been through a revolution, an acceleration of trends that's left everybody wondering what comes next. Just how will retailers adapt once they even know what the future of retailing looks like. David Gottlieb with me, the Managing Director for the Americas at Trax. That's the core here, David. What is it going to look like when the dust settles? From what you've heard through Trax, what can you tell us? Thanks, Richard. You know, it's, it's really interesting, especially through this pandemic, uh, we, we've seen a lot of, of evolution in how shoppers interact with stores. Uh, and in particular, they have high expectations when it comes to product availability at the shelf. And you know, when, when they've made the difficult decision to strap the kids in the car and go to the store, they simply need to be able to find the items on their list. And so there's a real spotlight today on this topic because so many of these shoppers have had to buy their groceries using a different method or different approach last year or so as they've been blocked in some cases through lockdowns, et cetera. And as they come back to the store, it's, it's super critical that they aren't disappointed uh, or there's real risk they may just not come back at all. In order for brands to help meet this expectation, they really need to focus on how they can understand what's happening at the shelf and they need to be able to, un to, to, to have a, a way to react to what they learn very, very quickly. So what have you seen that's worked? Uh, yeah, I think there's a couple, uh, a couple of things that we're seeing that are really changing the way that manufacturers think about the space. You know, the first is, uh, what can they do to better understand what's happening in the store and really create connective tissue in the business with that data? Uh, and so we see brands, for example, using technologies like ours and others for uh, image recognition so that when they, when they go into the store, they're not simply, you know, merchandising or selling. They're, they're creating a really uh, high fidelity di digital picture of the store that helps them understand what needs to happen, what needs to shift, what's out of the norm, et cetera. Uh, and that, that is a really a, a priceless understanding of the shelf that, that previously hasn't really been available. Uh, connected to that, I think what's really effective is how can they become more nimble at reacting to what they learn? So, you know, traditionally brands have invested in things like merchandising coverage, which tends to be very expensive, uh, very fixed cost, spread very evenly across, for example, the retail landscape. So what we're seeing now is sort of a micro investment in, in very targeted, focused retail coverage driven by the data. So I want to invest in the outlets that I know have issues and that I can have impact to ultimately create a better shopping experience. So we'll put aside to an extent the, the question of making people feel safe to go into the store because that's a much bigger issue. Let's concentrate yeah. on once they've decided to go into the store and they've used tech and the, the, the brand and the retailers use technology to, to enhance the experience at the shelf. At the end of the day, aren't you still in a battle between the online purchase, which is faster, which is more convenient, it has got a faster ability for the brand to monitor sales, the distribution of the sale, the, 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 the whole question of the, the purchase supply chain versus, well, he bought, yeah. he bought that off that off in that store on that day in a store that wasn't particularly glamorous to begin with. Right. Yeah, I think, I think a couple of things. One is uh, what, what the data is showing is that uh, in certain categories, shoppers still very broadly prefer to go to the store, right? So when it comes to, especially the perimeter, when they wanna shop for produce and fresh meat and, and categories like that, uh, at least today, the, the level of trust, I don't think is there to say, okay, I'm gonna fully sort of turn that over to whomever it is, the retailer, e-commerce partner, et cetera, and let myself sort of be a passive participant in that part of the shopping experience. So, so given that, I think what we're going to see is the role of the store itself continues to evolve. And so whereas today you might see space allocated relatively equally across departments from center store and dry grocery to fresh and perimeter, uh, we're going to see retailers investing in new ways for shoppers to experience the store while perhaps shrinking space where we see category shift to e-commerce, things like 
you know, paper goods and, and you know, bottled water, et cetera. I do think shoppers are very comfortable getting those things delivered directly, uh, but, but perhaps we'll still come to the store for the fresh and experience the store in different ways. You know, beer tasting, wine tasting, th those sorts of experiences, I think, become more central to the retail shopping experience. At the core of it, it's information, it's data. In a sense, it is doing, it's, it's doing the work that you do. Um, and I, I wanted to paint a picture for me how having that information yeah end up you know are you not just are, are we not just swamped with information is not the goal here to to, to you know the old phrase the, the the price of everything and the value of nothing mm -hmm. yeah i think it goes back to what you said a minute ago so today e-commerce has a lot of advantages over traditional retail because of the data right so i think uh, e-commerce companies are really good at using data about how a customer buys and what influences them, uh, what order to show the products, et cetera. And really, if, if you think about our business, about tracks, what a lot of what we're doing is saying, how do we take those learnings of how data can be used incredibly efficiently and effectively in an e-commerce environment and apply those learnings to physical retail, right? So how can we instrument the store and how can we provide uh, an, a physical retailer with data that helps them make decisions about how a shopper interacts with the shelf uh, in a much more focused way. And that's exactly what we're doing today.